My dearly cherished Christian brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I greet and bless you all. May God be praised for his name. It is a tremendous joy to meet you with this auspicious message on this day, June 17th. God bless you. The verse in Romans 8:28 that the Lord has selected for you today is very auspicious because it tells us that everything happens for the good of people who love God. Those who are called, in accordance with his intention. Dear sisters and brothers, one thing you should know is that everything will work out for your good if you love the Lord and have a close relationship with him. Permanently. Some of you believe that everything you try to do leads to evil, failure, or a lack of prosperity. Everything you attempt is a failure. You are at a loss for what to do. My beloved children of God, you must love God if you want all you do to be for the better. You ought to show your family members love. It is your duty to show your neighbors love. To love the Lord is to love God's other children as well. This represents your devotion to God. You are at odds with people these days, and some of you are at odds with God. That is not the same thing. They'll declare, I refuse to read the Bible. I refuse to attend church and refuse to sit in prayer. I'm not going to act. I don't want anyone since those folks are at odds with God. Such individuals do exist. They are hostile toward God rather than loving Him. These folks are numerous. You are unaware that no one will be able to assist you during a difficult time, only the Lord is able to provide a solution. They are unaware of this reality. The Lord says, return to the fort, the Lord Jesus, and then he will give you a double quantity of blessings if there are any children today who are hostile and violent toward God. So go back to the Lord. Some people will find their parents irritable, either with their friends or their siblings, and will be at odds with neighbors, tenants, and co-workers, it would be best for you to make amends with each of them today. Evil things are sometimes prone to happen in your life or in your family just because you have a bad relationship with them. God's word therefore declares that love is gentle and endures lengthy suffering. Love is not conceited, puffed up, or envious of others. It pardons other people. It will be seen that you love God if you are at peace with everything and demonstrate love to others. We are grateful to you, Lord. We have received excellent guidance from you, Lord. For those who are viewing this who are at odds with the God program and have retreated, for whatever reason, they are upset with God. If you are at peace with all of them today, and if you return to the Lord, who is your stronghold and sanctuary, God will perform big and wonderful things and wonders beyond counting if you are at peace with Him and start your first love with Him. Lord, grant joy to your children. Lord, grant them peace and the ability to build amicable relationships with all of those relatives and neighbors with whom they have had animosity. If they have encountered evil as a result, I ask that you transform it all into something positive for them. I bless them and pray that they will encounter good rather than evil and that they will never again encounter evil. But allow positive things to consistently come into their lives. May the Lord provide them with good strength. Permit them to have everything nice. We pray in the name of Jesus, Amen.